the best preserved theater from the ancient world, a theater whose lower 34 tiers of seats were created by the classical Greeks, but then were augmented by a, an additional 21 tiers of seats put in by the Romans to make that theater at Epidauros surpass all others. It's the site today of a great festival every summer of ancient dramas, both comedies and tragedies, worth going to, I assure you, even if you don't understand a word of Greek. For the excitement of sitting in those seats where so many thousands have sat before you, from hearing the air echo with those ancient lines of verse, comedy, of tragedy, from watching the actors down on the stage, sometimes in very contemporary style productions, and from hearing that sublime, that marvelous acoustic. Somehow the Greeks captured, with a true genius, the ability of stone arranged in a semicircle to reflect back into the center the sound, and to derive from the center, from actors standing down at the focal point of the theater, words which even when spoken in a whisper had the ability to reach the highest tiers of seats. This is the magic of Epidauros, and one that fortunately you can still very much appreciate yourself. Epidauros also gives you the chance to see a theater in true working trim. You are seeing the complete circular orchestra that would have had a little altar of Dionysus, the god of the theater, standing in the middle. Around that orchestra is a great trough cut in the stone, laid down in the masonry. A theater this big, which is open to the sky, is in wintertime going to shed a lot of water. This trough was a very practical method for dealing with all of the runoff and carrying it away. The Greek engineers at work. But the engineers were at work in another area too. Opposite the spectators, on the far side of the circle of the orchestra, where the chorus would sing and dance and the actors would come down and play their parts, is the rectangular Skene building, that S-K-E-N-E -E word from which we get seen, and behind it there was a gigantic mechanism called the crane. In fact, our word machine, mechanic, comes from the Greek word for crane, mechane, because this crane was one of the most impressive pieces of machinery and engineering in the Greek world. And it was applied, as so much of our technology is, not to warfare or to commerce, but to the entertainment industry. These cranes would lift up actors, swing them up and over the roof of the Skene building, the scene building, and hang them out over the stage. To the left and the right were the chorus with their separate entrances, which were called the parados. In front of them spread the tiers of seats.